D's on the right side of the car. How's it going? Well, I, I think I've got it licked. Uh, I've got a couple problems though that are just annoying, annoying problems, not really safety issues. We are tied to the ocean, and when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch, we are going back from whence we came. John F. Kennedy Next stop, the Hatchet Bay Caves. The Hatchet Bay Cave is the most extensive cave system discovered on Eleuther to date. It was first described in the November 1874 edition of Harper's Monthly Magazine as a cave extending 1,100 feet underground and worth the visit. The cave spans at least three levels and at least two exits separated by one-fifth mile on the surface. With over a mile of twisting passages, this cave system has yet to be fully explored. However, a direct walk between the two entrances is fairly straightforward, with limited opportunities for an adult-sized person to get lost. My tip is, don't lose sight of the rope, and be sure everyone has their own flashlight. Across from the cave entrance is a trail, and if you follow this trail, you'll arrive at Sweetings Pond. Sweetings Pond is a landlocked lagoon in Eleuthera and is known for its globally important population of seahorses, those quirky creatures in which only the males get pregnant. No, no. Did we see and swim with the seahorses? Yes, the water was rough, but we were glad we ventured in. The seahorses are so small, but we both were able to see a few, and the little octopuses were even more fun to watch. We did not get any video underwater, but here are some examples of what we saw. your experience driving over there on the right side of the car on the left side of the road? <laughs> well, I haven't driven a car since, well, it's been over a month since I've driven a car and I have to get in a car where the steering wheel is on the right hand side of the car and then drive on the left hand side of the road and the gear shift is still in the same place except I gotta use my off hand. So, got to remember that the cars are coming at you on the, right, you know, the correct side of the road, but it just feels very awkward. So far we've uh, managed without incident, but when you're coming out of a road, off the side road, you got to remember that you, know, you need to turn and stay on the left hand side versus crossing over or getting on the right hand side of the road. So, it's a little awkward, but the roads are in fair condition. Everyone seems to get, give you plenty of space. A D's on the right side of the car. How's it going? Well, I, I think I've got it licked. Uh, I've got a couple problems, though, that are just annoying, annoying problems, not really safety issues. Um, for some reason, I want to turn on the windshield wipers when I want to make a, a turn. So I hit the windshield wipers for the turn signals, and I hit the turn signals for the windshield wipers. Like I said, it just doesn't seem right to be hitting over here for the for the turn signal. So other than that, I think I got it. Our last stop for the day was a breathtaking view of the cliffs, located along the Atlantic side of Eleuthera. Apparently some people cliff jump from here.
It was a short walk and a little climb up to see the view, but definitely worth the stop. We enjoyed traveling along the ocean and all the unique communities we were able to see and experience. Seeing a side of the Bahamas most tourists might miss. We caught a glimpse of Alabaster Bay where we anchored earlier in one of our favorite Eleuthera anchorages. We saw the Governor's Harbor Airport before passing back through Governor's Harbor. And ending our Luther adventure back in Rock Sound. Next up we're crossing over to the Exuma Islands. still learning about our boat and didn't even know this part existed. How important could it be? We're about to find out. 